I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I am doing a what I eat in a day, well it's a Sunday so it's a little bit different for me on the weekend. I seem to eat less on the weekend than I do on weekday and also um, a bit of a come along with me some of that will go to be an M. I might do some bits around the house um, but I'll definitely show you what I have for uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner if I do have any snacks. Um, but yeah, we'll go from there and I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I'm just off to b &M. I need some storage kind of boxes and uh, well not boxes like a little storage sections for my like ambient cupboards so like where I have my canned chickpeas spaghetti rice all that type of thing I have a really awkward shake cupboard shake shape cupboard um I might show you when I get home it's just so embarrassing I hate using it um but yeah I'll, I'll um show you what's the colour in B&M at the moment and perhaps I'll show you the cupboard before and after depending on how it works out because it is embarrassing <laughs> show you what I've got. I'm really loving some of the stuff they've got at the moment. So I went in there for storage bits as you know. So I picked up a couple of these um, copper kind of trays which are, there we are, I thought we were stuck. So I'm going to kind of put my rice in there and other bits and stuff. I'll, I'll show you what I mean if I get round to doing it today, sorting out the cupboard. And I do collect glass and I used to have this kind of plastic tub but it was um, really starting to break and and also it was quite old so I bought this wicker wooden baskets oh sorry these were three pound each and this is six pound um I, I love collecting glass I love recycling it unfortunately where we live we don't have a recycle kind of pick up every week so I have to kind of get a load and take it to the tip or glass bank quite regularly then some boring bits so I did get some tape and some parcel paper for my parcels that I sell and then I have a big bag here and stuff Oh, I do take my own bags when going to PM and or try to as best as I can remember. I picked up these glasses here. I already had the normal drinking glasses, but I got the wine ones as well. I wrapped them up in my beanie. I got so hot in there, I had to take it off. So yeah, I got four of these. Um, then I got this in the bathroom. It's kind of a little woven basket. Um, this was four pound. I'm really rubbish with the prices. This was, these were two pound each, so I love having sets of four. I think it's just cool. Um, yeah, I got this from the bathroom just for a bit of storage, bits by the toilets. Uh, four pound, I thought, yeah, really go well with the kind of decor I had in the bathroom, and that's the sellotape tape I was mentioning all about. Um, oh, I also got some envelopes for some parcels. They're great for like if you sell tops and stuff, you don't have to wrap them up. Um, really easy to put in there and ship off. And then only a couple more things that I got. So I got three of these. Um, wicker black glass of wicker wooden black glass storage jars they're like the little poppy offy poppy offy the you know flippy offy one oh god poppy offy and flippy offy i'm just might as well go offy myself in a second <laughs> i 
that all sounds really bad <laughs> oh my goodness um but they were three pound fifty each and i got three of these and the last final bit i got from bnm was this hand soap dispenser for the kitchen so cute i don't know if you can see the little face on that love it so that's going to go in the kitchen that was three pound fifty i only popped down the bar for my i thought i'll have a quick look and um it's a very last minute decision and i found this one left i was so so happy so yeah that's everything so i will show you a little bit what i have for lunch and dinner thanks i haven't got anything overly too exciting for lunch i've got this minestrone soup that i need to use as it went out of date yesterday and i'm gonna use that and make my own kind of toasted garlic bread just to dip in with it so i'll show you This is the shelf in question. So I did chuck extra bits in there just because I had um, a gentleman come to do my carpet earlier today. So I lobbed it all in, but it goes all the way. You can't really see because it's so dark. It goes all the way around. It's a horrific cupboard. So let's sort. There's a lot there, so I'm just going to go through it and date check everything and start organising. Right, excuse the mess, and it's got so dark, so I think it's about to tip it down. But I have some things that are already kind of already jarred up, but I jarred up some other bits. Got some backup pastas, um, so I'm going to chuck them into the cupboard now and uh yeah let's see okay so as you can see it's so much better but it's such a tight space i mean this shelf up here is actually my husband so i don't ever touch this um that's his snack cupboard um but i don't know if we can get around there but i've had to push it right to the back um a few jars i think that will really help just having my three main jars um and not having loads of bags everywhere got my oils um i know i know i know some people are probably going to grill me but i can't cook rice I know it's really bad, so that's why I do boil a bag and I have microwave as kind of an emergency when I back up for speedy meals. Um, but yeah, much, much better. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to make like a Mexican rice bowl. I would normally use avocado, however, because I went away, I had this tucked away in the back of the fridge and it's got today's date on, so I really need to eat that. I might have some hummus with veggies later or I'll have the other half tomorrow. So yeah, let's put it all together. watching the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe um, and um, like the video that would be great and it means a lot to me uh, means a lot means a lot to me oh i, I need to uh, have a nap i think or something <laughs> um but yeah i'll be posting next wednesday um i believe it will be a dyson kind of open opening a box review um which actually Spoiler alert, I had the Dyson for two weeks and I returned it. It just didn't work for my hair. So uh, I will still post the video because I have recorded it and it does show what you get with it. It was just very disappointing for me. Um, but yeah, my Instagram is Gem the Vegan as well. And um, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and hope to see you soon. Bye.